A local four investigation into an unannounced active shooter drill is getting results. A bill is introduced in Lansing today in part because of what our team uncovered. That drill took place inside a child psychiatric hospital and was traumatizing to children and adults alike. And now a big step toward making sure it doesn't happen again. We bring in our investigative reporter Karen Drew who first exposed this issue nearly two years ago. Karen. This is really a big day today. It was back in December of 2022, where state employees at the Hawthorne Center decided it was a good idea to run an unannounced active shooter drill inside the child psych hospital. This is some of the police body cam video that we were able to obtain from that day. Even police thought it was real. So that led to numerous local four investigations and then to this. Take a look. We're talking about Senate bill number 1048, also 1049, legislation introduced just a few hours ago to hold state officials accountable and to protect patients' rights. We have to do right by these kids. We have to do better for these kids and for these patients uh, and their parents. Senator Michael Weber pushing for change, introducing a bill to improve oversight for state psychiatric care. They're forgotten that it's a health care facility, not a correctional facility. That move comes after our most recent investigation into the state health care system. I sat down with a whistleblower who is also worried about patient care. The bill asks for outside experts from three advocacy groups to be a part of the board to oversee state decisions made when it comes to patients at state psychiatric facilities. To be honest, the deeper we've looked, you know, the kind of the worse it gets. Everything from the nutrition uh, for the patients. Uh, obviously, you've covered the uh, false active shooter drill from 2022 that popped up again recently with the $13 million settlement. Police and fire emergency. Hi, I'm at 18471. I already wrote there was just a report of an active intruder at Hawthorne Center. A patient escapes, um, patient, um, you know, issues in terms of violence within the facilities. Um, and then in terms of like, you know, just trying to track some of that stuff down. There was also the lawsuit filed related to this attack of one child patient attacking another. Staff on hand, slow to respond. One staff member accused of encouraging the fight. They are in our care and some of the, the mishaps that obviously we have had, um, it, it, it makes me uh, very frustrated as, as a lawmaker. All right, so the next step, this goes to committee, then a hearing. Lawmakers are still waiting on that audit that's being done on these health care facilities. That's expected in early 2025. By the way, there was also another bill introduced to help ensure patients' rights in this psychiatric facility. Of course, I'll stay on top of this and let you know how that legislation proceeds. It could be delayed, you know, because of election. Sure, into the next session. But, but as I just, I can't believe it's right. two, almost two years since this happened, since I, we started this. I still this. remember when it happened that afternoon. It was a Friday afternoon and yep. we got that call and they yep. said an active shooter drill in a psych hospital. And that's when we were like, we need to check into this. This right. does not right. make yeah. sense. Yeah. 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 I'm glad we've stayed on top of it. <laughs> so are we. And I know a lot yeah. of parents are glad too. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Karen.